Welcome to After Hour, a podcast where a journalist retains a lawyer to solve societal problems. Because sometimes knowing why isn't good enough. We need to know what we can do. Sometimes we need more than truth. We need hope. I'm Jane Steele, your host and investigative journalist here with Joseph, the managing partner of Sang & Associates. Our case today revolves around child labor. A 12-year-old girl who was from Egypt was hidden in this family home and kept as their domestic servant. The case is the United States versus Abdel Nasser Yusuf Ibrahim. This was an Irvine couple who did plead guilty to enslaving this 12-year-old girl. Her name is Shima Hall, and they kept her in their garage for two years, forcing her to work as their domestic servant for a family of seven, so themselves and their five children. They hid her from immigration. She didn't go to school. Eventually, there was an anonymous tip, and the girl was rescued in 2002. So she was held from August 2000 until April 9th, 2002. The husband got three years in prison and the wife only got 22 months until she was deported back to Egypt. So positives and negatives to the, to the resolution of this case, but it did kind of reveal an illegal practice in Egypt, but a common one where children from poorer families are sent to work for wealthier families. And they usually are nine years old to 18 years old and they sleep in the kitchen and this is customary. An estimated 218 million children as young as five years old are employed. So Joseph, you have firms here in Southern California, in Taiwan, in Shanghai, so you have this global perspective and you also sit on the chair for AILA, which oversees every law school in the U.S. What would your proposal be to solve child labor and sla slavery globally, not just here but globally? This moral outrage that you feel is very, very much 21st century United States Western thinking. In many parts of the world, and you know this already, there is no such thing as child labor. It's just labor. It's easy to attack child slavery as being wrong because any form of slavery is wrong. But is child labor wrong? And when does child labor cross over to become child slavery? It would be hubris and it would be preposterous and imperialistic for another country to come step in and say, no, your country needs to follow our footsteps and our dreams and match our pace in life. You cannot compare a first world country with a developing country that is still grappling with a lot of those same issues. 